Ray, do you want to just stand up in here? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now introduce our next special guest speaker. It's my great pleasure to introduce Ms. Rui Matsukawa. Rui Matsukawa is Director of the Gender Mainstreaming Division, Foreign Policy Bureau, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan. And... Oh, come on. In the field of empowering women. So I have great pleasure in asking Rui to speak to us now. Thank you. Elita Benz, thank you very much for kind int introduction, but uh, I will speak in Japanese um, because here uh, I would like to... So I'll be speaking, uh, let's see, in Japanese, but there's a reason, uh, because I want to uh, share the wow uh, as much as possible across the Japanese audiences. Well, first of all, um, thank you very much for giving me, giving us this wonderful opportunity. I'd like to extend my appreciation to ACCJ and and so I am the uh, head of uh, women's promotion uh, empowerment from Foreign Ministry, and uh, you might wonder why the Ministry of Foreign Affairs have to be engaged with the uh, women's empowerment. So can you click? Click uh, one slide. So why uh, does the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs engage in such a thing? I'll spend next one minute to talk about it. And then followed by my presentation about WOW for this year and next year. And uh, don't try to read this. This is uh, like an eye chart. This is like a, only for you to get the, the idea. And the idea is this. Uh, we want to make the world, uh, the universe in Japan, that uh, woman sign, uh, which is uh, led by Prime Minister Abe, like he spoke this uh, morning. So women's to be actively engaged, and the uh, and and also the uh, and this doesn't close in Japan. Empowerment can go across the border, and that's uh, that's why I put this slide uh, here up here. Uh, as you can see, the Japanese uh, initiatives are on the left. On the right, or, or right is uh, international activities. And we have, like Mr. Abe said, there are 800 uh, executive officers, the female, 1 million uh, new uh, female work uh, laborers. The force, workforces are joined the uh, labor market. And this is not only to help women. Uh, this is for the betterment of uh, Japan as a nation, uh, better quality of uh, under the new society where a lot of global audiences are paying attention. And the uh, Japanese women's uh, the life expectancy on average is 87 years old. Uh, men's are 80 years old. So, so you, you know, in that lifetime, you might be walking, uh, you may not be walking, you can. There are many different options that you can take, and the uh, men's after 50 years or older can start to enjoy different types of uh, work lifestyle. And I'll come back to this one after I present uh, what Wow is about. So uh, the cancers of the uh, the problem is the mindset. 
and different processes and, and the walking hours uh, constraint and the uh, that's where we can learn from Japan uh, as well as we can share with uh, the uh, outside of Japan in 2013 the Prime Minister uh, spoke to United Nations General Assembly half of his presentation was the empowerment of women and uh, there and he talked about uh, there are many challenges, uh, women challenges uh, in emerging countries, uh, di countries with uh, uh, the dispute. And he talked about he'll be using ODE, uh, the uh, ODA uh, as assistant uh, budget, which uh, uh, 300 million yen is going to be pulled over for the uh, three years. And we've started three years process already. And the uh, yes, standing ovation after his speech and after his uh, speech, um, uh, and the uh, Miss Clinton talked about he's the wonderful leader for empowering the process. So he recognized she recognized that. And there's uh, some initiative called Ten by Ten by Ten, uh, and the, uh, the and the uh, they, they recognize uh, as the prime minister as the one of the leaders in empowering giving more empowerment for women uh, at June seventeenth. Now, this commitment, uh, which UN is committed, uh, but why not start uh, different ideas, different brainstormings about what ideas can work? And that's the starting point of WOW. We have many different uh, slides, uh, but almost all of them are photographs. This is one slide, uh, one photo taken from WOW last year. And this next slide is like a, uh, uh, the... Ch Chairman uh, Ragal from IMF talked about making a speech about the empowerment of uh, women. And it was not only our prime minister, uh, our first lady, uh, Ms. Uh, Akie Abe, uh, was very engaged with this. It's a, 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 a day and a half event, uh, but she was there for the full day. Now, and I'll speak more about this slide later. Uh, wow, is a, a, a day and a half program. Uh, on the first day uh, in the afternoon, we start out with a big forum like uh, as big as this room. And on the second day, uh, we split into break, uh, break up sessions, small group sessions. And the prime minister came to all the small group discussions, six of them entirely, all, uh, the, all, all, all of them spoke from his heart about his opinions about different issues and a lot of people were surprised for, for good. I am in foreign ministers affairs, I go to different international meetings. Usually people at the top, uh, especially the state leaders, they say make a nice speech at the very beginning, go back, and that was uh, good enough. People appreciate that even for that. Uh, Prime Minister Abe was almost there entire entirety of a day a, a day and a half, which sent the message that yes, Japan is now serious about empowering women, uh, and the uh, many global uh, members appreciate it. So apparently, Japan is not only speaking, and this is just a, a quick scenes from. Uh, uh, at the event. So, for example, we have a WOW uh, polo shirt. Uh, interns are there. Uh, so it was a very exciting event. And next slide, please. And uh, you may not uh, know what it is, and I'm pretty sure you'll get the idea after my presentation is over. So uh, WOW is not uh, is very different from any other symposium. Uh, because uh, we have uh, like uh, 50 people from Japan, 50 people from outside of Japan. Symposium, uh, if you go to regular symposium, you talk about nice things and uh, you're happy. Uh, but it doesn't get closed as the end of symposium. Uh, it, all the table has to come up with uh, two recommendations. So it's a personal participation, but you have to uh, have a specific recommendations. And this uh, document is uh, agreed and built uh, in a day, on the same day, and well to do. So recommendation, if you hear, 
and the ministries, uh, different ministries said, uh, if it's recommendations, we get pressures. But to do is a little easier, right? Because I have 10 to do's in the morning. Two of the to do's are never being touched. So we decided to call it to, not recommendation, but to do's. And then back in the mail uh, discussions, the, you know, we talk about how the leadership engagement, the leadership commitments are important. And these are just a few of the same examples that we are came up with. We'll the next slide. And they were actually recognized at the United Nations. You now, of course, the process is not that easy, uh, so uh, not that difficult. So it's not uh, new, but but it's been recognized by UN. Uh, finally, come here. I, am I doing okay, Elizabeth? Time? Well, uh, wow, this year, August 28th and 29th at uh, New Takanawa Prince Hotel. And the, uh, it's going to be, again, a day and a half. Uh, Friday uh, afternoon is the open public discussions. 2,000 audiences can come in. So it's a big hall. And uh, we will invite, uh, you know, if you apply, uh, anybody can uh, uh, can apply uh, and the, uh, possibly be invited. And uh, we are planning to do the uh, application uh, time frame at the, uh, uh, you know, please visit that from uh, Foreign Ministers Affairs website. You know, you may not want to visit, but eventually we want to start the application process. Now, this doesn't look much on a paper basis, but WOW recognizes like global issues and the economy, like I said. So we are going to be inviting very good keynote speakers. And the Ambassador Kennedy said in the morning, uh, Marion Houston from Rocket is going to be there. Uh, the Prez, uh, the Sadif, uh, uh, the president of, uh, uh, president of Bolivia is going to be there. And from Harvard Business School, Linda Hills, Professor Linda Hills is going to be there. I cannot give you more details. But again, we are going to be having wonderful faces. So... Um, this is actually um, based on last year's version, but um, there are some additions to it because it's for this year. The orange part is regarding economy, and E1 is work-life management. This is regarding how you work. E2 is uh, change uh, with the uh, male employees, so uh, changing of the m mindset or uh, mentioning that the leadership of the males are very important, and uh, the, the gender uh, equality should be considered not just by females but also by males as well. And E3 is well for all, so uh, well for all the people. Yeah, so what I heard is that um, there are many successful uh, women uh, around the world, and they came over and uh, made a uh, speech. Um, that was what happened uh, last year. Well, uh, that was how people felt about the WOW Symposium last year. So this year. Uh, we will have some people like uh, single mothers or uh, some people who had suffered from uh, maternal uh, harassment and um, single parents. So in E3, uh, we will try to listen to the voice of minority. So people who are facing difficulties, um, that is the, uh, what this session is about. And a uh, global session is the blue, uh, girls education, that's G1 session. So, for example, elementary school education in the developing countries, uh, that's, of course, um, necessary. But um, the education in the secondary school or the um, high schools, I mean, the, uh, the female girls would also only be a good labor um, if they just go to elementary school. If they can attend the secondary schools or ha have higher education, they can be involved in decision making. So. That is what we are considering here. And then uh, women and uh, peacemaking. And in G3, uh, I hope you can uh, have some um, interest in this. Uh, using ODAs, uh, it's not just that the uh, state is uh, supporting, but um, we will involve private sector as well. So the women's independence is very important in developing countries. But um, for example, a food company, food manufacturer, and a uh, female uh, Nampings manufacturer um, can work together and do some uh, work on some you know, program. So uh, we will have some, a multi-stakeholder uh, discussion. 
And then there are special session. So this is some things that was added for this year. So a uh, use table, a uh, table for university students. Um, we wanted to expand the generations we cover, so we included this. And uh, Minister Arimura is actually working on this, and this is a very interesting session that is uh, to disseminate the Japanese toilet overseas. And also, uh, the women and the um, uh, disaster prevention measures. So that was once held in Sendai, but this is like a follow-up. And there's one, another simple uh, session of, uh, with the uh, IGF, um Association. So uh, there would be some short sessions. And actually, this is the most important message, and I'd like to stop here. HCCJ and WOW is connected. HCCJ and also uh, Kaori Sasaki, the uh, World uh, Women uh, Female Leaders uh, uh, Conference is also uh, linked together. So there will be a link or um, collaboration with all these uh, forums. So uh, next page, please. This is one of the events that was held in Shine Week in Logo Share. So uh, there was many connections made. Shine Week is a week starting from July until October. So anybody who have an interest uh, can get involved at their own um, event. So they can work together well or do a, um, maybe a established site. So in the last year, there was an event in Nagano Prefecture regarding agriculture uh, with the girls, and there was also another event with India. So I hope uh, if you are interested, please contact. This is the last page. If you are interested in this, uh, well, 2015, um, the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs website is not a very popular site, but um, if you can uh, click uh, WOW or gosh, week for uh, women who can shine, then um, you can get connected. So if you uh, wanted to uh, get in contact, please do. And I'm sorry I was not able to uh, explain this um, uh, appropriately, but um, I think uh, last year, uh, well, was you know not very like a bureaucratic kind of um, event. Uh, it was a very exciting and fun event. Um, so I hope you can participate in well uh, this year as well. Thank you very much for your um, attention. Thank you so much. Sukawa for sharing all the information on this year's Tokyo WOW event. And I think what we can see is that this year is going to be bigger and better than ever. So let me right away introduce our next special guest speaker, Kaori Sazaki. Kaori Sazaki. Thank you. Kaori Sasaki is founder and CEO. Sasaki Kaori Sacho, CEO of Unical International Incorporated, and founder and chair of the International Conference for Women in Business. She created the International Conference for Women in Business in 1996. It is now in its 20th year, and also a great internet pioneer. She opened the first portal for women in Japan also in 1996. So please welcome Kaori Sazaki. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for our introduction. And I'm so short, so I ordered the steps to, uh, to, to stand down. So you will see my face later on. <laughs> So, uh, Matsukawa-san, <coughs> uh, who explained about the WOW event of, uh, by uh, Minister, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It's a wonderful event, and I am participating. And WOW and ACCJ and our International Conference for Women in Business. So, those three conferences uh, is to support the uh, 
advancement of diversity. That is uh, what we have in our mind. So we want to make these three, uh, uh, these three pillars for advancement of, of women here in Japan. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Can you see me a little better? <laughs> the end. So I was um, giving a lecture on diversity or giving consultation regarding diversity for long. But um, what is the reason why we need diversity here in Japan? We want to increase the uh, women or the foreign people um, in a labor force. No, that's not just about uh, increasing number. But we need to have a diversity in our perspectives, in our viewpoints. We want to have healthy society, healthy uh, enterprise, and we want to uh, make more popular uh, products. So that's the reason why diversity is so important. So for this aim, it's not just about the right to work uh, for female employees. Female employees also need to consider about how they can contribute to the enterprise. And I think it's not just about female women, but um, the male employees or the people who uh, come from abroad all need to have this mindset of contributing. And that is the uh, essence of diversity. That is how I feel. So how can we promote diversity here in Japanese society? There are actually two ways to do it. One is the pressure from overseas. So I think ACCJ's people, I think, knows very well how Japanese is, is weak against the pressure from overseas. So when you work with the Japanese people, uh, if you mention that um, Japan is trying to uh, have greater participation of women in the labor force or trying to advance diversity, if you mention that, I think uh, the, the, uh, the, this will create a momentum. And another thing is uh, networking. I am a president of a very small uh, company, but um, I am actually the external director for some of the listed companies here in Japan. Actually, I made I, I uh, established my first company 29 years ago. Uh, maybe some people are calculating my age. 29 years ago, I established a company that was a translation and interpreting agency. I looked around at my women, and I wanted to have friends who were working women as well. So I created this network. And I changed the name of, of the company to in International uh, Business uh, Conference in 1996. Uh, this is uh, the picture of that conference in Japan. This is the biggest uh, conference. We have about 1,000 participants. It is already uh, 20 years since we gave this conference the name of International Women's Business Conference. Uh, the 99.6% uh, of the participants have expressed satisfaction uh, with this business. We start from um, 10 a.m. to 20, uh, um, 8.30 in the evening. Uh, we eat together, we discuss together, and have uh, a, a lot of networking activities in this uh, uh, business meeting. Uh, a net that works, uh, we promote networking. It is not just a matter of getting acquainted with others. Uh, it is um, a network uh, that allows us to contribute mutually. <clears throat> if you could look at this photograph, you can see how vibrant and active this business conference is. This year, this is a photo of last year because we had Prime Minister Abe and uh, Minister Mori also attending our conference. This year, on July the 26th, we will be having our conference. I would like to invite um, all of you who are present here today uh, to register to this uh, conference. We are celebrating our 20th anniversary. This is the web page of the conference. The theme last year was Game Changer. 
I, we have been promoting diversity in many areas, but I think as a next step, um, after all the individual efforts have been made, I think we need to become game changers so that we can change the rules here in Japan. This year is the 20th anniversary, so we want to make history. So that is the theme, make history. This, and we would like to make history change. And we want to make history, and that is the reason why we want to uh, place this as uh, a topic. So please look at the uh, topic in um, details later. Uh, Ms. Nozaseko, uh, Ms. Ms. Noshida, and others have talked this morning. Cute. There is a company called Cute, uh, uh, which was uh, established by Mr. Kamada, who switched to Karibi. And we also have many ambassadors from many countries. For the male champions, we have uh, many listed companies, presidents uh, who will be panelists. We have, uh, have a talk show of women executives. And also, we have to convince the government, so we will have uh, Ms. Matsukawa with us as well and to talk about the initiatives taken by the government. So. All of you are having lunch. Um, we In our conference uh, for 20 years past, uh, we have um, offered course a full course of lunch. And then from around uh, the time we eat dessert, uh, we uh, have, uh, for example, F1 women racer uh, talk uh, or um, t give their experience. And uh, for AI, Ms. Etsuko Komiya will be participating in the breakout session on artificial uh, intelligence. Uh, we will have nine. Uh, themes. In, in the uh, plenary uh, session, we will have uh, um, simultaneous interpreting services. From 29 uh, uh, countries, we will have uh, 49 ambassadors. Uh, we will have also many uh, representatives from the government. So we have 950 participants this for this year's conference. For the afternoon session, it will be very act interactive. We will have many interactive discussions. Uh, uh, on, so we will uh, break out into all Japanese groups and all English groups. Please, if you're interested, please look at the website. Uh, the, um, diverse uh, ways of working, women and health, uh, menopause and uh, giving birth to children, uh, pregnancy, how to promote women, uh, women on board. Uh, we will be talking about how to become uh, board members, and so forth. We will uh, uh, be discussing diverse themes. Uh, so uh, uh, please do um, uh, uh, participate in this conference on July the 26th. Uh, so I said that there are two ways of promoting diversity. One is external pressure, and the second is networking. Networking among individuals uh, will promote the sharing of information so that we can all take uh, united action. Uh, this is internal pressure that we can show. On uh, July 26th, I would like to encourage you all to join us and also join WOW uh, so that uh, uh, you can all participate in these uh, three for us. Uh, you should, uh, so I would encourage you to uh, attend all of the three uh, conferences so that we can change Japan and change the world. So though I have brought some pamphlets with me, so if you're interested, uh, please, I will uh, distribute them. If you go to eWoman, no, then you can, eWoman.jp, uh, you, uh, you can get into the conference website. Please, we also uh, have guests uh, from the earthquake affected uh, areas. Uh, we also have a quota uh, for university women. Uh, so we also have young, uh, uh, children, we had a 12-year-old boy attending the conference last year. So, uh, thank you for this opportunity to invite you all to my conference. Thank you. So that was Kaori Sazaki and.